Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the world of Makala. Welcome, Robert. Uh, I see you in the chat there. Um, I'm your Dungeon Master the Batch, and this is He Has Risen, episode 41. I have everybody with me today. Everybody say hi. Hello. And I have a cat, I have a cat hey. trying to get in my lap. Hi. Well, let the cat in the lap. Yeah, let the cat in the lap. Uh, you can't deny the kitty. I, I can I can deny the kitty. She makes my leg go to sleep. Mm. I do not like you, cat I am. <laughs> All right. So, last time on He Is Risen, a lot of stuff happened. Um, yeah, we almost died. <laughs> They're still almost dying. You headed to Emelo with High Mage Linzana and three royal guards in tow. On the way to Luxlim's Tower, you, yeah, to Luxlim's Tower, you notice someone sitting in the Corn and Family Cemetery. Curious, you approached, and it turned out to be Luxlim doing his morning meditation. You gave him the small silver cage in exchange for the gold that he promised. And as you made your way out of the cemetery, Linzana and the guards moved in. Linzana asked you to stay, as she didn't know how the confrontation was going to go. She approached Luxlim and asked him if he planned to cast the outlawed spell with the cage. Luxalim denied it. She requested she be able to read his mind to be sure. He reluctantly agreed to avoid being brought to the Woodhurst Magic Council for questioning. After reading his mind, Lanzana told Luxalim that he was lying. Luxalim responded by telling her, I didn't want it to come to this, told her she had one chance to leave, and when she didn't, he attacked her. You all rushed in to help as Luxlim summoned multiple undead creatures to fight alongside him and turn one of the royal guards against you. Uh, you handled the undead pretty well, but when you got close to Luxlim and Arrhenius summoned a sphere of darkness, um, Luxlim. Thanks, Arrhenius. Thanks, Arrhenius. Luxlim from the. I cover can't answer that. I'm dead. <laughs> Luxlim from the cover of darkness unleashed a circle of death. Uh, severely wounding Linzana when Meryl and dropping Arrhenius out of the air. And Arrhenius is now dying. And so Isn't the consequences of your own actions? <laughs> hey. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I am trying to use what I was given. And it just backfired on me, okay? Got a couple things... Uh, Lanzana was concentrating on Dragon's Breath. She needs to make a DC 12 uh, constant. Oh, let me get music going. Um, I was going to look for new music, but I'll just go with what we were uh, listening to last time. Even though it doesn't really fit the setting. Um, I'll just go with that. At least it's something in the background. Um, but no, Lanzana... no somber music. Hmm? And nothing. You can ignore me. Oh, somber music. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just... A funeral march for Arrhenius? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have to make a concentration check. Can somebody play taps? <laughs> and it was against a DC of 12, so she made it. She's still concentrating on Dragon's Breath. Luxlim has 20 feet of movement left. Um, five, 10, 15, 20. Who do I want him to move within range of? Um, just, just kill Arrhenius. Just do it. I know you want to. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if he wants to move within range of Linzana or when. I'm going to roll uh, evens for Linzana, odd for win. Even, so Linzana, he's going to move right here. I'm figuring out how far I want to zoom on the audience view. There we go, that works. Okay. I don't hear music. Let me check my uh, 
It's playing for me. Okay, I just need to turn up my volume a little bit. And he also still has his bonus action left. I watched the episode three times. Um, he also still has his bonus action left to command the zombies that are left to attack. So one is going to attack when for seven bludgeoning damage, unless you shield. Hold on, hold, hold on. I got a twenty-two. Give me one second. <laughs> um, actually, uh, rounds happen in six seconds, so. <laughs> <laughs> Shield, so it doesn't hit. Correct. Okay. And the one on Lanzana is gonna miss. She's gonna dodge out of the way as Lux Lou approaches her. He's got her in that ten foot sphere of dim light. And uh, down towards the bottom, we got a zombie that's pretty much dead. Um, Uh, it's gonna go for meat. And hit for five damage. So who's controlling meat today? Uh, same combat, so still you. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Let me see. I can't <laughs> I control meat know. if you guys don't want to. I have no problem. I mean, I can do it too, I don't care. Alright. Uh, I've got it. I've got it. I've never even looked at meat sheet to even know what meat has. <laughs> meat sheet. <laughs> meat sheet. <laughs> we'll just we'll just all have meat sheet up. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I think uh, meat should be higher level. He's uh, level. Is he level five or six? Five. five. You are right. He should be level six. I meant to level him up to six. I'll level him up after this fight. Leveling him up right now would be weird. Although I think I've done that before. Was <laughs> in one campaign we played leveled up in the middle of a fight. I think we uh, did that in one of our campaigns. Yeah, yeah, Rangers, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think we did it in Rangers because I think I was either I was either there for that or I watched that. Yeah. All right. So did the I'm trying to remember if he did the no he did not do the ghostly spirit. The ghostly no. spirit is almost dead. And it's going to reach out with its deathly touch at... He's... Luxlum's focus on Lanzani. It's flying. Hmm? It's flying, right? So it was by Arrhenius? But Arrhenius, no, Arrhenius is down. Arrhenius it would have to down. move down. It's going to... It's going to swoop down and it's going to... It's going to... Um, seeing that Arrhenius is neutralized. Actually... Luxlum went for Lanzana, the, the ghostly spirit's gonna go for win. Lanzana attack of opportunity. It's flying, it's above her. It's up in the air. When it left. Is it Oh, it wasn't a melee range in the air? No, no. it was thirty feet up. Uh so it was shooting range attacks, got it. Or twenty either twenty or thirty feet. Yeah, it, it wasn't in melee range of Lanzana. So D twenty plus Seven. Ignore the necrotic moat. I was just using it for the attack roll. For the plus seven. So 18. And an 18 does not hit because your AC is currently 23. 24. 24? Okay. Alright. That means Ignis is up. 
Um, I think I'm pretty sure I used my bonus action to have him attack. I can't remember. Hey, you watched it three times. Did I use my bonus action to have him attack? Uh, <laughs> Probably like, because that's what, did, that's what you did the previous two rounds. Yeah, so he would... Uh, that zombie's still up, so... Yeah. He doesn't recognize the... I don't know if he would know that the guard was against us or not. I mean, he's he's not stupid. Okay, well then he attacks the guard right there. Maybe he can break the charm effect or whatever. That's gonna hit. Oh, wow. Hit hard for 12 fire damage. It scorches his back. Or heats up, the, uh, heats up the armor, which scorches his back. Yeah, he's just gonna stay there. Arrhenius, I needed that saving throw. You're already uh, down one. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do those. Um, <laughs> <where's> the... <laughs> At least it wasn't the one. <laughs> I mean, it might as well have been. Yep. Arrhenius. No, if it was one, that I think that's two dead. Uh, yeah, that would have been two. He would have died. Yeah. So he almost just flat out died right yeah. there. Um, and he can't do anything because, you know, incapacitated. Yeah. He's just going to kind of... Just going to cough a little bit. Maybe spit up a little bit of blood. <laughs> you were hit by a wave of... of uh negative energy so you, you're kind of just die yeah just the light he, been, gasping for air light. that's what he's doing then yeah jill you're up all right i'm still trying to decide if i want to you know jill sees an opening i'm gonna shoot him with an arrow Are you shooting? Luxlo. So I can't get my shit. Not trying to be that kind of guy or whatever, but isn't there a fountain in the way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's okay, I move two, two spaces oh, around it. Okay, like I stand here, the angle might be wrong. But if I stand here next to a royal guard, um, it's fine. Well, there's, yeah, but then there's an attack there's of opportunity. A, there's from a fence and there's dead a people. <laughs> no, the zombie's people. alive. Well, so, like, he's. Obviously, I'm, this is I'm the dead. upper part of the fountain. This is the lower part of the fountain. I can shoot over the lower part of the fountain to yeah. hit Luxlo. Oh, uh, you can, yeah. Yeah, so, I can see that. That works, yeah. Like, sure, I'll move the one square so that you guys don't worry about the fountain anymore. And then I'll <laughs> shoot him with my bow. <laughs> of course, if I can get my character sheet up. Hold on. I'll be oh, nice. Geez. I'll say it's big enough to where it doesn't provide any cover. I mean, worst case, I move up and to the right again, right? Or two spaces up and then to the right, yeah. You'd, tell, you'd have to worry about this fencing right here, so. I can still see three quarters of this thing, though, gonna die at that angle. But anyway. You just jump up here. It was it was allowed, so it's. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm saying go ahead, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but that zombie does get an attack of opportunity. Which is the one, the dead one? No, it's the one that was down, the one below you. Oh, okay, go for it. Three okay, bludgeoning three damage. damage. And it rah, slams its arm into you. So 22. Oh, oh. It looks um, cool. Where's Lux land? That... Yeah, that's going to hit no matter what he does. 27 damage total. Since there's an ally next to him and alive, I get the sneak attack. Doesn't the ally have to not be unconscious? Linzana. Linzana is an ally. Like, I'm Linzana, looking at yeah. her. You're right. Linzana is an enemy. Never mind. 
I'm just thinking of your party. Okay, <laughs> yeah. No, that, that's fair. No, that's right. fair. I did think about that for a brief moment, but then I'm like, oh, wait, it's not up there. So <laughs> well, at least I wasn't the only one then. Okay. Uh, our, our radius, <laughs> like, reaches a hand up and distracts for a second. <laughs> but yeah, they would have to be conscious. But... 27 damage. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. No, you have disadvantage. Oh. You gotta roll that again, because he's heavily obscured from the shadow of Moyle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh... Oh. You seem too happy about that, Batch. The what? little clap of glee. Oh, no, he has disadvantage! Well, he doesn't ever get to do a TPK. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We yeah, always have live this through. Batch. There it goes. Oh my gosh, it's still hit. You rolled the 22 oh, have, and 21. I have a plus 8, so. <laughs> should be good. Uh, yeah. We're 27 damage. Oh, did I hit the rapier on that one? Well, let's, let's see what the bonus is. It, no, it's the same bonus. It's the same bonus. Yeah. Same difference. You nail him right in, right in the gut. He starts bleeding. Good. And then, let's see, bonus. Help action. Um, let's see, that's too far. That's so I do. 27 damage. Help half action of that, against this. Half of that is 13. He needs to make a concentration check, which he has advantage on. Which he's gonna make. Okay. And then, advantage against the zombie so that it. Probably goes down. For my bonus action help at a range. Okay. Alright, Meryl, you're up. <sighs> okay, um. You can reach like... Arrhenius. She's gonna cast Spare the Dying on Arrhenius. The touch, or was it the range now? Uh, 15. That's right. Nice. 10, You're one square away. What does that do? Put you at zero. Stabilize yeah, it was. You. Yeah, it stabilized. Put you at zero. <laughs> so Bonus just... action. She cast Healing Spirit. Spare the Dying is a cantrip, right? Huh? Spare the Dying is a cantrip, right? Yep. Yeah. It's a cantrip. Okay. And the healing spirit's gonna hover over Arrhenius. Here, I'll. Let's play. Okay. Um. What level are we casting it at? Um. Oh, wait, does that matter? That doesn't matter. I don't know, does it matter? No. Um. I don't think the healing starts until uh, Arrhenius is next turn. No, it doesn't. And one plus your spellcasting ability modifier. What's your spellcasting ability modifier? Um, for healing spirits. Uh, uh, your spellcasting ability eight. modifier is five. Eight. A five? Yeah, your spell attack is eight. Your ability uh, modifier. Is five. Your modifier to the left of it. Oh, okay. Five. So let's yeah, five. get Meryl's healing spirit out. Plop right on top of Arrhenius. Has us. It can heal six times. All right, that's move action bonus. So when and um, uh, oh. she hasn't finished movement, so she's gonna burrow as her last movement. Okay. Uh, you used, looks like 10, 10 feet, and you have 20 feet left, so. Okay. How far down are you going? 10 feet? 10 feet, yeah. Okay. When you're up. All right. Um, <clears throat> what level, what level? I am going to try to cast Hold Person. On Luxalum. DC 15 wisdom save. Please roll back. Oh! Yes! Oh, shit. Oh, I don't have anything to stop that. Uh, 
I just gotta break. Yeah, I have to break your concentration. That's the only choice I have. Mm -hmm. Um, so he's paralyzed. Yeah, but he, but he gets to save at the end of each of his turns. Yeah. Okay, at the round. end, so it skips. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah it'll be the yeah. end of his turn. So he won't be able to have a bonus action to command the zombies. Is the default still dodge action if they don't have a command? I believe so. I guess it might also depend on the I spell. Have to check the, the, I have to check the spell. Um, yeah. But... I think I'm realizing something that I don't want to realize. What's up? Crap. Oh. Oh. Crap, crap, crap. Paralyzed means incapacitated. Incapacitated means his concentration's broken. Does it? Does it? Uh, I hope that think... sounds wrong to me. Actually. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Um, that's that's right. You're incapacitated when you're paralyzed. I'm pretty sure. Right, but does that actually end your concentration? Yep. Oh right yeah, it is right, broken. Yeah. Right here under the new versions. Yeah. Your concentration is broken. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a rule change. I don't recall it doing that in the past. Yeah, because it's in capacitating condition. The ghostly spirit disappears. Yep. The shadows around him and that aura of darkness disappear. And. Uh, no one's no one's looking, so you don't notice the other thing that happens. Uh, How is he concentrating on two things at the same time? He's special. Yeah, there's a magic the item that does that. Is there? Monsters can do whatever they want. Players have their own rules. <laughs> Basically, that. That that's too. the that's how the real mechanics work. I remember that Warlock Sasas. <laughs> Thanks for teaching me that. <laughs> I've been this going person is now concentrating on five spells because exactly. they can. Exactly. I always find it funny when players will like quote like, "This is how a wizard works. How can they do that?" And I'm just like, <laughs> "I'm the DM." Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm the DM, and the monster is different. <laughs> this wizard is a special wizard. Yes. <laughs> Um, and so I got him incapacitated. I'm going to move backwards. Um, <clears throat> uh, so so next turn I can try to dispel on the guard. Um, so I'm going to misty step. I can find the right control. I'm gonna misty step to here. Do you look at the guard through the fence? Yes. Um, you notice he's kind of shaking his head while the other guard is holding him. Like it looks like he's snapping out of whatever had him. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Um, so that was my bonus, my action. Um. I'm not gonna move. Alright, I'm done. Alright, Lanzana's up. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna call to her in case she can't tell. I have him held. For now. She's gonna call back. Nice work. Uh, what do I want her to do? Um... Bitch slapping? 
I mean, there's still the knockout option. Yeah. You just have to take them alive, which requires it be melee, but that's it. Which I did just read up on. It's interesting. It brings them to one hit point and unconscious instead of zero. Yeah. And, yeah. Interesting change. She's gonna reach out and and put her hand on his chest and cast Chill Touch, which is now a touch spell. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, nice, nice. Jeez, so many. She's going to drain away 17 points of the night. Oh, she has advantage on those. I'm going to see if she crits. Nope. Nope. No crit. Okay. Is she... Uh, can anybody hear her? Yeah, she's going to lean in and say... You're going to pay for attacking me. Hmm. Meet up. We're gonna finish mm, off that zombie. little vindictive. <laughs> Meet up. Is he gonna finish off that zombie? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, Get I, meet. Was, I was muted. <laughs> they have advantage. Uh, on their first it, attack. Oh, I accidentally hit disadvantage, but either way, 22. zombie dead. And then I don't know. He's gonna run to here. I think that's all he can do. Uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright. Row guards up next. This one's gonna look at the one that he just uh, tried to skewer. I, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. He was controlling me. And the guy holding his gut and trying to keep the blood from pouring out says, It's alright. Let's just go get him. And... Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50... Fifty five, sixty. They all dash in. Uh, one of them is run a... around wind. Wind's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of them's a human, so one of them's got forty feet of movement. Uh, I'll say the one that's bleeding out is human. They're moving ten more feet. Actually, that would give him 20 if he dashed, so he gets right up on Luxalon. Alright. So, it's Luxalim's turn. End of his turn? End of his turn. Yep. Wisdom save? Wisdom save. 15. Be the, the terminal. Oh, yes. <laughs> Damn it. Passes. Alright, and what do the zombies do? The zombies. Take the dodge action. 
Oh no, once given an order, the creature continues to follow it until the task is complete, and they were given the order to... Kill. Yeah. 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 So, okay. <laughs> um, so, that one... I got two all in Zana. Oh! Oh! Ow. Two plus six is eight for a total of fifteen damage to the zombie, and she's getting battered by the zombies. Ignis is up. What's Ignis doing? Um, I guess he's gonna dash in. So. Let's see. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Because he has a flying speed time. And don't think he can do anything. Wait, hold on. He's gonna do his enchanting flame on Luxalim. Oh jeez. Which I don't wait, I'm stabilized now, right? So that means that my stuff still does my stuff still affect him? The um pull it up. Uh investment of the chain master. Cause if so it uses my save DC instead of his. Are you sure? I thought that was just for spells. I'm... It says save DC. Uh, if the familiar forces a creature to make a saving throw, it uses your spell save DC. Really? Yeah. Investment of the Chain Master. It's one of the invocations. What do Is that? But I don't know if that would count with me being down. So Does it's it say either... you have to be conscious, or...? You are conscious? I don't think it specifies. Uh... My assumption would be it still counts, since nothing says that you lose it under certain conditions. Excuse me. Yeah, no, you're good. Oh, yeah, because it says it's when I cast the yeah, find good. familiar. So, yeah, it uses my save DC, so it's a 17 instead of a 13. Okay, then. I wonder if that's if that's new or if we just didn't I notice it before. I don't think so. I just I don't think I had that one. Oh, okay. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so DC 17 charisma? Correct. Oh, and he doesn't have a bonus to that one. Uh, he is now ch charmed by Ignis. Oh, and Jesus. I don't know if you would count Arrhenius as being within 10 feet, but if so, he's charmed by Arrhenius too. Oh, gosh. Where's five foot adjust. Charmed? Are you asking for five foot adjust? Yeah. Because if so, then it'd be like there. So then Arrhenius would be within 10 feet. Okay. Which means Luxalum is charmed by Arrhenius. Can't harm the <laughs> charmer. Charmer, yeah. So he can't he can't hurt Arrhenius or Ignis. Start the healing spear works the start of the turn, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright. Arrhenius regains so, five hit points. That's like almost all of my health. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> it is like Feels a tenth like of it. it. It is a tenth of it, which is 
bad. But anyway, um, and just and that's at the start of my turn, so I technically have a turn. Um, yes, you do. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad at this guy. <laughs> um, so I will be, I will be stabbing him. You not, not even up. gonna get. I'm not gonna stand up. Um, I see him and I'm just stabbing up at him. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming a 32 hits. 13, damn. You have disadvantage on attack rolls while you're prone. He stood up. Son of a bitch, you still rolled a 26. <laughs> Does a 26 hit? He said he stood up, though. He has to use half of, half of his movement to stand up, right? Oh, did... I thought you said you no, could I stand didn't. up. No, I didn't. I'm still laying on the ground. Oh, you're still laying on the ground? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, right, it's your packed weapon. That's how you have a plus 13. Correct. Son and if that doesn't kill him, bitch. I'm attacking him again. Just he 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 almost killed me. Uh. So I'm gonna stab his ankles. <laughs> um. Yeah. What did you What did you hit the first time? His leg, his ankle. What'd you go for? Uh, it would have been like his thigh, probably. Yeah, so he's bleeding out from his leg. Uh, he shouts, you will not kill Luxalum the Faultless. <laughs> you? you? Good was, thing it was disadvantage. Yeah, that was almost bad. Now here's the question, are you going for lethal or non-lethal? I mean... I know that we probably need to go non-lethal, but my character wouldn't go for non-lethal. And he's using a dagger that does like extra damage that I didn't even like look at. I forgot about. The DC 15 constitution saving throw. Oh, I'm not adding the three on that one, am I? Oh, he's got to make the con save. So let me make the yeah. con save before he takes that damage, because he's not taking the three fire damage from that. Correct. So let me make the con save. What is it, DC? Yeah, that, that's, it's a 15. It's a 15, so... That's a D4 of damage. So that's... Okay. Can you guys see the roller coaster my face is going through? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you want to rule it, but the second one would probably be a stab to his foot. Um, I mean, technically, he could, like, amputate the leg. Cauterize it. You stab him in the foot? Yeah. Just like straight through. Like pinning his foot to the ground. So you stab him in. You stab him in the foot as he's bleeding out from his leg and now the foot wound. The, the, the blood loss is causing the, the color in his face to, to drain. And he looks at you, still smiling at you because he's charmed by you. As if happy to have you be the one that, that kills him and he falls to the ground. Uh, hold on. I don't know if can I damage somebody that's charmed? Yeah. Would the charm yeah. have been broken the first time you took damage? No, that specific charm no, effect doesn't. Have yeah, to that's what I was that. looking at. Yeah. So no. Yeah, he's still charmed. I probably should add that. <laughs> um. 
because most charmed effects do have that, probably should have that. But, um, the charmed is, is charmed not a condition now anymore? Hmm? Yeah, charmed is a condition. Okay. It just it doesn't, doesn't, but it doesn't have that built in. No. no. Gotcha. Uh, so as Luxlim falls to the ground bleeding, Lin Linzana, uh, you can kind of see the rage drain from her face and looking at him. Like, and she says, uh, Can any of you heal him? We should probably bring him in alive. Um, Meryl's still burrow ten feet, so she has no clue what's going on right now. <laughs> this little spirity thing that's above me heals. Where where's the one that summoned it? Uh, Meryl. I don't know. I was dead. Meryl's gonna pop her head. We're out of initiative now, or are we still in initiative? No, we still have zombies to kill. Can you can you can you bring him back? Well, Meryl's underground, so she can't answer. You said, you popped you said you just popped her head out. Oh, I popped her head. Yeah, she popped her head out. Um, yeah. I don't know if I want to, though. <laughs> Jesus. That was probably the most southern I've heard you sound in a while. Oh, God. Don't know if I want to, though. Don't know I want to, though. <laughs> Well, I you, resemble those remarks. If you can, please hurry. I'd prefer to bring him in alive than dead. <sighs> Let me think about it. <laughs> think about it. Fine. She moves her healing spirit over to him. <laughs> you just got spare the dying. Whenever your turn's next. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, that or that. Bon bonus action, I, I, I drink a health potion. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I do that as a bonus action? Yes. That well, I'll have you. to get past that zombie first. Where the dying has a range on it. Oh yeah, that's right, 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You guys have to move up a little bit. Is it full? We're still in combat, though. We have zombies, batch. Yeah. It's still combat. Unless, unless oh. zombies stop when he goes down. As if I use a heal healing potion as a bonus action, does it heal less, or do I get the full eight? You you get whatever you rolled. Okay. Um... Sorry. Continue. No, you're fine. Uh, the the zombies still look focused on Linzana as she's panicking over Luxalem. Because they're still following that command that he gave. Right, they're, they're still summoned, still doing their thing. Yeah. <laughs> so Jill's up, I think. Yeah, Jill. Alright. I would like to use a little bit of imagination and some dice rolls here. Okay. I want to go basically in a line like this, right? With a dash action, right? As my bonus. However, obviously there's a fountain in the way, right? What if I were to cut out some of the time of going all the way around like that, and instead just go along the edge of the bricks and use acrobatics to balance my way as I run across, balancing on the bricks, and then continue running? Do so you want a parkour? Yeah, I want a parkour. Parkour. So that, yeah. Parkour. Let's you're a rogue. I won't even make you roll an acrobatics check. I'll just let you do it. Oh, sweet. Because, yeah, the base is 18 for that, so... <laughs> what if the fountain this is, is wet? Ready. Make a roll acrobatics so it could be slippery. <laughs> no, it needs I mean, to it, be a... I have a minimum of an 18, so... I don't <laughs> no, know. Do a do a it, needs to be a it needs to be a survival check. <laughs> what? Survival check. But I can move it. Okay, okay. All right. No roll, then. And then I attack the zombie. I 
ally is next to him. One year. So okay, man. since since she's tiny, she can move through other people's spaces, right, without it being difficult terrain? Well, an, an ally space, you can do that anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you're medium right now. Terran? And I can't spare the dying on Lux alone. Ooh. Speak grudgingly. <laughs> Speak grudgingly. <laughs> Wait, is that the right one? Is that unconscious? No, which one's unconscious? Spare the dying, he's still at zero, right? Yeah, he's still at zero, yeah. But he's stable. Yep. Linzala looks at you and says, Thank you. <laughs> As she swats the zombie next to her. There's one zombie left. Someone kill the zombie. Well, I'll try. Winston. I am going to <laughs> cast. Which bolt at fourth level? Because I'm tired of these things. Wow, fourth level self for a zombie. Damn. Damn. That's, uh... A little bit of overkill. But... <laughs> Fourth level what? Witch bolt. Fourth level witch bolt. Well, eleven. It's a zombie though. It hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fried it. Meat looks a little deject dejected. <laughs> <laughs> he was so far away. He was really inspired by uh, what he watched Jill do. And he was going to try to do like a front flip off of it and throw a weapon of some sort. Oh, and there's 1d4 more damage because of my little totem. Yeah, so it, three more damage. It's, it's dead. It's. 35. <laughs> it's. Okay. It's. it's dead. It's dead, though. Stop killing the already dead. Stop hitting it. Three Kill dead. it more. Double tap. Double tap. <laughs> Wind was getting a little tired of her spells not doing much, and she just like, you know what, we're sick of this. This is always this up to 11. We're doing this up to 11. Like, see, I can do it. Just need to get rid of this thing so we can end this. Alright, as uh, all of the undead are dealt with, and Luxlim is unconscious on the ground, Linzana looks down at him, says, You won't be casting that spell and you will be coming in I, I don't think he can hear you I know he can't hear me oh okay do I heal anymore from the spirit yeah let's finish up the spirit Spirit, healing spirits, healing up for people. Yeah, can heal five more times. Healing spirit, there it goes. After Linzana says that, she reaches down, or the, the royal guard reaches down to to pick him up, to, to take him. As the royal guard reaches down, you see the area around Luxalim start to glow. And Lux Lim's body, his, his unconscious body, disappears. Oh, god damn it. Come on.
Wynn's gonna look at Linzana. Uh, would Wynn know what could have happened? Arcana check? Yeah, make an Arcana check. I was about to ask if I could make either that or investigation. Uh, you can make I'm an Arcana check. In Arcana. Someone, you can make an Arcana check. What just happened? My, my headache. Can I also make one? Because I'm proficient. I missed what so. happened. Um. The air, the area around Luxlim started to glow and he disappeared. Uh, when the Royal Guard reached out to him. Yeah, when the Royal Guard reached out to pick him up to take him away. When in Arrhenius, um, it looked like he um, had... Uh, you're, both, you're both familiar with uh, the, uh, a spell that lets you... I don't know if I say this in game terms. Um, in, in game terms or mechanics? Because in game terms, you could be like he, you know, would fuse the item that had a, 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 a spell cast on it already for a certain trigger to happen. He, it, it looks like a spell that uh, triggered when, basically when he went unconscious. Um, he, uh, I'll just, I'll just medicate it for you. He had cast contingency with Dimension okay. Door. It looked like that he ca had cast Dimension Door and that it had um, been precast with contingency. Do you guys know what contingency is? No. Is that if Not something happens? I know what contingency spell? means, but for the game, do you just mean based on some condition, like if he's unconscious and he's going to be taken into prison <laughs> or something? Yeah, if he's unconscious and someone tries to take his body. Um, it's, it's an actual spell. Yeah, contingency is a spell. Okay. Yeah. You cast it along with another spell. Um, that spell will trigger on you when the certain when a certain trigger happens. Huh. Interesting. So it looks like that's what he did. I think it's isn't it like a fifth or sixth level spell? S excuse me, sixth level spell. Ooh, he's powerful. Um so um if it looked like dimension door the range for that is 500 feet, so we can't have gone far. Um, My guess would be his tower. He's in his tower. Yeah, Wynn's, Wynn's going to look at Linzana and say, that was Dimension Door. He must be in his tower. Um, I was checking something real quick. Um, I had used another healing spirit. <laughs> another instance. I assume on Arrhenius? Yeah, on Arrhenius. Uh, Arrhenius, did you get the one 18. before that that healed one? Yeah, the, the one. Okay. Yes. You got a little trick. Alright, and then there's two more left. One more left. One more, there we go. I'm gonna use a potion of healing. Okay. While we're talking around here. And roll very craftily. I'm gonna roll, um, cure wounds on myself. <laughs> what is that? Oh, cure wounds. Sound like she said true wounds, but it was cute. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I was like, what is true wounds? I knew what she you actually said, yourself. even though it sounded like true wounds. Cure. Cure. Uh, Linzana says, we must find him. <clears throat> if that when dimension not... door, if that dimension door took him to his tower. Take 
We must search this tower. Yeah, Wynn's just going to nod and say he needs to be stopped. Wait, but he's still right there. Yeah, you want oh. me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he was right there. <laughs> when we'll look at the rest of the party and um, I mean I I think we should help them. Jill Park pulls yeah. out her sword and says, I am ready to fight. Yeah, let's hunt down that bastard. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. There's another potion, so I'm still pretty fast. Much better. Lanzana looks at uh, the looks at the guards and looks at Wynn and says, "Let's go search a wizard's tower." Hmm. Hopefully, there's not a bunch of traps. What? <laughs> which which one of us? Uh, Wynn can go first. Okay. Oh. Wynn's going to say, what do you want to bet he's on the top floor? Yeah, and every floor leading up to it is just full of traps and random monsters. But what if that's what he wants us to think and he's actually beneath the tower? True. The chill. We will look before we head Actually, up. that'd be more of a Jack thing to say. <laughs> Your Jack is showing. Your jack is showing. <laughs> and away we go. Somebody want to carry me so I can have a short rest, real quick? <laughs> I'm going to be walking for an hour. Bill takes you in their strong arms. <laughs> I'll stuff him in my uh, bag of holding. And... <laughs> it's not that small. Alright, so you head to the tower? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, Please I mean, work. how long Please is he work. going to be out? Please Can work. we get a short roast? <laughs> <laughs> um, what does the text of Spare the Dying say? One second, let me get there. Spare the dying. Did the creature become stable? Well, what the fuck? Um. I guess if he's he just didn't gonna cast a heal whatever, of some sort, then whatever. he's still unconscious. Yeah. yeah. There he are just, rules for what happens when you stabilize a creature. Would you just heal at the regular rate of whatever healing is? I think Natural it's healing? Like... But it should be a short rest, right? Because, like, if you're not going unconscious, it is a short rest, normally. So, if we take a short rest, he just gets one, too. Yeah, and then he'd be. Yeah. Like... Mm -hmm. And that's how it always kind of was. Like, if, if anything hits zero, you would. It'd be, it'd be a short rest to regain hit die. And if it didn't have hit die, you'd wait till a long rest. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that because I can't, I can't find the 
where in, in the rules it is. So I'm just. I'll, I, I'll look it up for you if you want. It's either that. Oh, or, dang it. I think it, it's either 1d4 hours or short rest. I can't remember which one it is. And he's gonna have so many actions in his player. Player actions. <laughs> so far, what I'm finding is until you regain hit points, you're just unconscious, which short rest would give you hit points. And technically, he's resting. Yeah, I'll call it a short rest, so. So we have an hour to find his, find him? Yeah. Unless he teleported into some. It, I found it 1d4 healing. hours. It is 1d4 hours? Monster, okay. yes, yeah, 1d4 hours, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna roll that behind the screen. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah, stable creature that isn't healed gains one hit point after one d four hours. How do you whisper a roll? I, don't uh, know. I'll just... uh, I do slash GM roll. Yeah, that'll work. I'll just, Works. I'll just Google. You have to type it correctly though, otherwise oh, it D. will. Do you have any physical dice there with you at your desk you can roll? I don't. They're in my room. Well, okay. Here I have one. I'll roll for you, Batch. I mean, you have the internet. <laughs> I, go I googled roll a d4 and Google has a dice roller. Yeah, yeah, it does. That's what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, Google, that's what I was going to say, yeah. Just Google roll 1d4 and it holds it. <laughs> I can say it out loud and my Google Home will do it. Oh, well, let's see. Hey, Google. Roll 1d4. You got a 2. Hey, oh, you cool. got a 2. <laughs> <laughs> it even made a rolling sound. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Jinx. Arrow. Radius. Win. Jack. We will switch to. And meat. And Ignis. I forgot Ignis. It's okay, I got him. And. Oh! oh that was loud. Oh, sorry. My bad. That wasn't me. <laughs> that, that, I think that I was, was me. But the oh, cough okay. was me. <laughs> oh no, I didn't hear the but cough. I... Oh, yeah, my, my vape sound covered it up. <laughs> oh. I covered my mic. I, I covered my mic when I coughed. So, I, I use. I've been hitting mute, but I forgot to that time. Oh. Oh, I didn't hear the vape because I was busy coughing. Yeah, I heard the vape. I'm getting over sinus drainage. Zana. And the Royal Guard. I wish I could get over sinus drainage. Yeah, that'd be nice. And uh, there. This Kinda just want to burn his tower drains, down. This is the drainage that drains back into your throat and into your stomach and makes you sick. Yeah, I kind of want. I kind of agree with Arrhenius. Just burn the tower down. <laughs> just burn the tower down. But they yeah. want him alive. Need him alive, yeah. <laughs> cast Bear the Dying again. Yeah, just cast Bear the Dying whenever we find his body. I don't think it'll work on a charred That's body. Not how that works, yeah. <laughs> uh, it has limits. Oh. Damn. Limit is it has to still be oh, well, somewhat it, it, alive. Bring him in as a corpse? <laughs> reanimate him? I was no. about to say, just him. cast Reanimate Dead. <laughs> yeah, just cast Reanimate oh, Dead. Not even resurrection, but reanimate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you get up to the tower, and do you do you try to go in? Do you knock? What do you do? Why would oh, we just, knock? Who's I gonna let us the in? The Why would we knock? You don't kick the door. Jill's kicking the door. You don't remember? I can't. The door. <laughs> Who wants to bet there's a magic uh, trap or spell on the door? So why don't we check that first? All right. All right. Jill will check it. Okay, I go to kick the door and somebody stops me. <laughs> yes. I go to One ram the... the door with my head and then someone stops me. <laughs> you spellcasters should know better, seriously. <laughs> I am upset. He killed me. Almost. You've time to calm down. I'm upset. He I feel like Andor. 
<laughs> and it's not good. <laughs> he Although, almost killed a radius. That, 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 that pisses me off. My character's skills and such, they would actually ask someone else to check for the traps, actually. As a mastermind type character, Can I they'd ask someone else to look, check? and then if they can't pick it, they, then, then Jill would pick it. Can I cast catapult and have the catapult hit the aim at the door? If you want to use a spell slot for that, <laughs> I, I just it's a level one do, spell. I just it's a level one spell. An arcana check to see if I notice anything on the door. Go for it. Roll an arcana check. It's not gonna do anything. Uh, you you do notice uh. There's a small engraving on the underside of the door handle uh, that looks to be some arcane sigil. Okay, everyone back up. I'm casting we, Catapult. We got <laughs> sigils over here. I know you were um, able to dispel right, able things to, before. Am I able to disarm magical traps? I can't remember. No. It's been a while can since I, I played Rogue. Can I go look at the sigil? Yeah. Hmm. Can I determine what the sigil means? I am a scholarly type person. A researcher. Uh, make a... It's archive. Make an archive check. Uh, why does this tower have uh, stones lined up to make it look like it says entrance level one? <laughs> You didn't roll your metagame knowledge, you can't say that. <laughs> oh, sorry. It, it is um, a protection ward. Meaning? Okay, I will say that there's a protection ward on the door. Can you get rid of it? Do we know what that means? Do we know, like, what would that hmm. do? You, you don't know specifically what it does. You just know that that okay. uh, she knows that that sigil uh, represents protection. All right, Mallory, you had an idea, didn't you? Yeah, I'm gonna cast catapult on the door. <laughs> Everyone, back up about I... sixty feet, <laughs> about sixty or seventy feet. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, Meryl. Do I see any? Like, is there any windows or anything? No. So we've well, been on. Are there any above it that I can see into? I'm gonna cast a spell magic. That's too high level. He likes his privacy. There are no windows on this tower. Okay. I'll look at Linzana and ask her. Use her spells first. Ask her, <laughs> can you dispel that? She's probably a higher level wizard than I am also. She goes and takes a look at it and she says, I can certainly try. Dumb high mage. Can I give her a magical <laughs> assist? Can't even disarm them. <laughs> Doors. Door protection. <laughs> Do you say that? No, 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 no. That's, that's definitely a meta statement. Okay. That is not a jail thing to say. I was just making Jack sure. might have said it under his breath, but not jail. <laughs> Jack would have said it. <laughs> um, not that they're not the same person, but... <laughs> I missed what was said, but Arrhenius says it, whatever it was. Oh, shit. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what was said. Something along the lines of, what a high mage you are of being unable to disarm a door trap. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Basically, that's what was said. She's not able to dispel it. She, catapult? She tries... I, uh, I don't know about catapult. She tries... Meryl. She, she draws... Uh, she draws patterns in, in the air around the sigil with her fingers and says some incantations and tries to dispel it. And the sigil starts to glow, but it, the glow fades and she can't get it to... Okay, instead of attacking the door, I will, I will attack the wall. 
That way we can bypass the door. Catapult can do a pretty good fair amount of damage. You know how thick this wall probably is? I will remind uh, you, there is I... a butler that works in the tower. Is there? Yes, yeah. I said that I said that a little while ago. Uh, oh yeah, and we were friendly with them. And they don't know what happened. Oh. In that case, change back to Jack. Knock on the door. And and I tell Linzada, hey, hey, move, move for a second. Yeah. Uh, tell him to hide. Okay. That's the plan. Tell him to like be out of eyeshot. Oh, oh, hide. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, you, I thought you read minds. I, I have to actively <laughs> read your this. mind. I'm not. I'm not a tele. I'm not not an active telepath. I'm and a passive telepath. All of this came <laughs> here before, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. That's so, awesome. But Meryl was in a different form, so she might want to. Meryl. There we go. <laughs> all right, Jack Knox. Oh, yeah. Wait, I think Meryl was in Cabot form because she got up on she, the well, table. Changed, she changed. But then I changed back. I changed I changed in a minute of that. Okay. Um, and just stood there looking up at him like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after about 30 or 40 seconds after knocking, the door the door opens. Um, I think we can we can change the music back to the nice calm music for now. For um, now. Oh, but it was so intense. <laughs> the door opening. <laughs> the butler, door opening, actually. The butler comes to the door, uh, opens the door, and says, uh, Hello again. Uh, Hi, we're here to. Oh, sorry. Master Luxalem is not here at the moment. He's out in the, the Cornyn family cemetery meditating. Uh, is there anything I can do for you? Oh, well, uh, we, we don't want to interrupt his meditation. Uh, would you mind if we just came in and waited? Uh, we can just wait for him to get back. We'll stay yeah, right yeah. here at the Master, entrance. I'm just saying what I wanted to say. <laughs> Master Luxalim uh, does not like when um, people are in his tower without him here. How open is the door right now, and can I put my foot in the door, so to speak? You could put your foot in the door, yeah. All right. It's open I think that's what Jack would do at this point, because it's probably it, a lost cause to try and convince him. I would just be like, no, it, it'll it be fine. I mean, we have the business dealing with him, and I'm sure he'll be perfectly fine with us just sitting in the lounge area that we were in before. Uh, you can no, even stay no, there and keep an eye on us. No, uh, please, please, um, yeah, make a little, this is not intimidation, because Jack's got his foot is in the it? door. I mean, okay, I'll so I am putting my foot fine. in the door. Yeah, we're both gonna hold the door. Aw, oh, <laughs> I rolled low. And he's probably gonna roll low. Nope. He's holding his ground. He's, uh, he's holding... Alright, we're forcing our way in. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I mean, I'm like, gonna, I what Aranius is going to say, Jack is doing the action of getting in that door. I go up to the side and cast That's invisibility the on myself. Okay. Uh, I was and just going to kind of shove him. Then she's going to so, change the cabinet form and or sneak past in, yes. him. Up to what roles? Do I need to make any roles for okay. this? Or? So you're pushing past him? Yeah. Um, make uh, so are you trying to? Um, I'm going to go in there and sit on the couch. He needs and to say, make. We'll wait. What is but... your? So this Oops. they changed the rules. It's not contested athletics anymore. He needs to make a saving throw. DC is eight plus your proficiency plus your strength. So eight plus proficiency. So. What's my proficiency? 11. So 11. Yeah, so he needs to make a saving. What is it? Yeah, I 
against your... Okay. So does that push me back out? Uh, are you both pushing or just Jack? Uh, I was planning on it. I just thought you were doing his first. Well, if you're both so, pushing... Yeah, I mean, on... I would be we're both doing. Well. I thought we were both kind of doing it already, and then we were going to go in. But So if you want to be in on the actual stepping in... Yeah. Yeah, I'll give him disadvantage. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Here, okay, he's sturdy. Um... <sighs> Wynn's going to see them struggling to get the door open. She's going to roll her eyes and cast it insinuation on the butler. <sighs> this butler's going to die. <laughs> uh, uh, he needs to make a, a, a wisdom saving throw. So yeah. if he rolls another 20 or a 15. <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, hey. no, he, he fails that, and, um... Uh... Goes unconscious? Yeah, he, he... Very incapacitated. He only takes seven damage, but he, but it impairs his ability to make decisions. So we'd be like, look, you need to let us inside. Yeah, but he's not really... An adventurer, so he doesn't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> um, he just blew. Meryl, can you blew spare him, please? <laughs> she kind of walked off to the side and turned invisible, so she's gone. Well, doesn't mean I can't say your name, and that's for you anyway. Yeah. They ask you when they ask you see that, regardless of where you are. Yeah, he kind of falls to the to the. To the ground. So I assume the door's still open. We can go in, though. Is yeah, there... we just go in and sit on the couch. Yeah. yeah. The door's open. He's on the ground. Passed out. We no motion for the kind of for Lanzana and the guards to come in. Meryl, <laughs> can you can you spare him, please? You hear nothing. What that? What that? What that? Call for invisibility to go away. <laughs> Casting a spell, yes. I suppose. So depending yes, on the invisibility you're using. I guess we could try to use. Well, I'll I'll, I'll look around and be like, Meryl. Did, did Linzana says, did 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 you kill him? Well, <laughs> a little. That's why we weren't using. I mean, I was just trying to push him, but he was yeah. surprisingly sturdy. Well, that and I'm weak. So. I was just... Uh, I was trying to impair his... His... His, his decision-making abilities. I'll you bend down... came on I a little strong, Wynn. Since I can't... <laughs> since I can't find Meryl... Um, I'm gonna try medicine. Wait. Try to stabilize him. That would work. Um... Anybody want to assist me to give me what advantage or a plus two or something? Normally I would allow that, but you did psychic damage. So how are you going to mend his brain? Psychic soothing energy. I don't know. Magic. Talk nicely to him. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good butler. Do You're you, doing your job. Butler. Do you have any health potions? <laughs> yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah, but those are ours. That's for me. <laughs> Meryl, where are you at? Heal this Meryl. guy. Meryl! <laughs> just... I, I Jack I is just kind of sitting there, like, like smiling, anyway. kind of laughing at this whole situation while you guys are trying to... Kind of ambush. To get an ambush on him. He ambush says... who? The guy that's dead. He, he's dead. You can't ambush him now. Fine. She casts Meryl the Dying and turns back. Okay. Once get you cast that... One... Well, would would Spear the Dying and invisibility? What it, isn't it when it, you attack? It or ends, cast a spell? Or cast, or cast a, spell. a spell? Yeah. 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 Otherwise, you'd be invisible like... casting spells, and that'd be pretty uh, I don't strong. Know. So is Meryl just going to chill and not want to waste her invisibility spell? And you cast Spear the Dying, and turns back invisible in the middle of the room. I mean, because Wind can give him a potion if. 
Meryl wants to not say anything and just chill wherever she is. No, she cats bear the dying. Hey. Moving along. Okay, so we picked uh, him up and set him on the couch. Yeah, get a little pillow yeah. under his head. But we find a blanket and put it over him. He's just taking a nap. And then it looks like there's stairs down and up, so... Do we mm. split the party? Do you no, I don't know if that's a good idea. Because we only have around an hour. We do not split the party. Uh, my internet kind of glitched a little bit. It sounded like you said we do split the party. I see. <laughs> yeah, I call bullshit. No, that's literally what happened. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, me and Arania. I know that you there. said not. I know that there was a not there, but it sounded like <laughs> so. I don't know. We do not split the party. Okay, how about this? The party, as in us, goes one way, and then Linzana and the guards go the other way. Or we leave some of the guards just to watch the entrance, so that people don't come in or out. Since there's no windows, there'd be no other obvious way out, in or out other than a spell, which would we wouldn't be able to do anything out. about anyway. So. Who would be coming in or out? Who knows? Meryl kind of shakes her head a little bit. Stupid <clears throat> oh, voice. Huh? I yes, heard the thing king again. I heard the thing king again. Who? <laughs> Uh, the the fiend king the oh yeah bad dude. yeah I don't yeah. know I, I did you guys not are hearing so. things oh have you not this was like a while ago but yeah oh, we, we talked of... yeah you guys explained it to Jack earlier yeah but no yeah. I'm not hearing it now I thought they I thought that he only spoke to you when you guys did something wrong I, no I don't he's, know. he's, he's only done he's it once. Mess. He's a bit of an asshole. He just does it when he feels like it. Well, if, well, that's not telling us anything. What did he? What did he say? Yeah. He said, "The darkness tempts you." Hey. Bill says, "Why don't we go down first and work our way up?" But that's the darkness tempting us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're giving you a hint. Huh. I mean, is the Fane King really a bad guy? Um, yes, Arrhenius, yes. Or is he just misunderstood? Uh, if there's one thing I know about trickery, it's that they want you to think that th what they want you to think is what they want you to think. Hero think. I don't know. I'm going down. Oh, to summarize, they want you to go the opposite so that they, you do what they want. But really, they don't want you to go the way they're telling you to go. Yeah, but how do you That's know what Jill that? Says. <laughs> how do you know that they're not planning on you thinking that? Well, I assume you haven't had that thought before, have you? And taking not yet. The, no. the same option is what they've told you to do. So that leaves well, a perfect then again, opportunity they... for a deception. Like, like we, like I mean, they. He's only said something to us once. Mm. I suppose this does come down to a poison cup kind of thing. Yeah. Joe anyway, does I'm not gonna, explain it. <laughs> I'm gonna go down. <laughs> poison cup thing. I'll join Arrhenius. Down. We're going down. All right. There's probably fewer floors going um, down than up. And then so are we leaving right Linzana and the guards her. at the entrance, like I suggested, or are we going with them down? They would they Let's... would probably come with us. Because like if it if they're above us, they'll go down the stairs and leave while we're down in the basement, potentially. 
and vice versa, whichever route we took. Leave them at the door so they can watch, just in case, you know... Maybe leave a, two of the guards or all three of the guards and have Linzana come with us still? Is, what, is, that, yeah. is that why you are worried about yeah. That's leaving That's what I'm saying, there? yeah. Maybe leave meat with them? Yeah, meat can stay with the guards. Meat is hungrily eyeing the one guard who's really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he knows better. He won't do anything. But his lesser instincts are kind of flaring up a bit. <laughs> Does Wynn go to the basement? Yeah, Wynn will go with the party. Has Linzana not healed her, her guards? Have the guards not healed themselves? Oh. I think I'm the only one that can heal right now. <laughs> well, I'm sure the guards have potions, is what I'm asking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good point. I did expect a potentially violent arrest. I'm sure Linzana probably has something on her as well. So is Wind down in the basement and Linzana still upstairs at this exact no. moment? No, Wind when, when followed the party. I didn't realize you all had already moved down. And I thought Linzana was also coming, or was she well, also staying up? Because I was going to... Batch, Batch controls her, and he's busy right now. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I was doing? just going to ask Wynn something. Out of earshot of Linzana. But I guess I won't now. Uh, I'll, I have, I'll have Linzana just talking to the guards for a minute upstairs while you guys are downstairs, if you want to say something to Wynn. I was just going to ask Wynn if... Uh, if we search those guards for the mark, we did. Yes. Yeah, she yes. did. Whenever yeah, we left, whenever we left, um, uh, where were we? Mark's lock. Mark's lock. Mark's lock. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever we left Mark's lock, I checked. I guess taking a blow to the head. I forgot, so I just wanted. You weren't to with us. Double check. So. Yeah, you weren't Arrhenius with us. Arrhenius wasn't with us, so Arrhenius wouldn't have known. Okay, so that did make sense. Okay, now we're hearing hearing Zoomy speak. That wasn't me. Not me. No, that Sorry. wasn't me. We have two vapes Sorry. going on. Sorry. Alright. Meryl, are you in the basement? Yeah. Okay. No, you're not. No, you're, you're not. not. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we keep asking. Alright, Linzana makes her way down. Alright, so you get to the basement, you see the, the semicircle desk there with uh with papers on it and books. And there's okay. uh couple of doors leading out to the rest of the floor. Alright, anything of interest that we can see? Anything that looks like it might be a hidden door? Are the doors I really don't want to have closed? to use my last level 1 spell slot to cast Detect Magic. <laughs> <laughs> the doors there are kind of like swinging doors, they're not locked. Is Detect oh. Magic only is a shorter time frame now? Isn't it like 10 minutes? It's ten minutes. I'm yeah. gonna walk around this way. The worst choice. Looking for anything that I guess stands we're, we're, out. We're all probably searching and looking around real quick. Um, so make investigation checks. Anyone who's looking. I'll be looking too. Yeah. I'm in jail form. I'm curious. I ain't found nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what about Linzana? So, uh, investigation. Sunny she found less though. than Meryl. Um, 
Oh wow! Damn. Damn. <laughs> so, when what are you exactly looking for? What are you What are you physically doing? Hmm. I'm looking for anything that could be like a trigger for a trap door or a hidden door, secret door, someplace where there could be a hidden room or something where a person could be hidden. Are you looking through the books? There's a lot of books. I mean, I'm scanning. It takes us way too long to... We don't have a lot of time, so however long, I mean... We can't spend an hour down here. I mean, I'm scanning the bookshelves, but I'm not going to be stopping mm-hmm. to read and touch and poke every book. Right. Oh, that was my favorite book growing up. I'm surprised yeah. he's got that one. I'm going to roll a d6. I mean, if anything looks at a place, like, why is this cookbook in with... <laughs> Monsters of the Dark Fell or something. I mean, um, wait. He likes Hold Twilight. Pull that he book likes out. Twilight. It would. What wouldn't be that obvious? <laughs> oh wow, he likes Fifty Shades of Grey. Not 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 that one. The um the one that doesn't have any words in it. Uh, you're not able to find nothing really jumps out at you uh, you're not able to see any like like you just you said you're just scanning the books nothing really jumps out out of place um, you don't really see anything in between the bookshelves that looks like uh, I mean I I, I, door. I am touching things as I'm going you know I'm touching and pushing and scanning and looking around but I'm not taking my time to read and look at every like you know to read every book title and just a quick you know touch 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 poke poke next bookshelf look at the wall okay. so, look at the uh, candelabra on the wall pull it push it um so nothing on this floor uh sticks out to you okay <clears throat> wind's gonna say i i don't see anything on this floor. She's going to start heading towards the stairs. And Zana circles back and says, I didn't seem to find anything either. (laughs) I didn't see anything either. Up we go. All right. Clump, 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 clump. Heading up to the next floor. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, I forgot. I can like spider clap up those stairs. Are we taking the guards <laughs> with us, or are we leaving them down here for? I guess now we could take them with us if we wanted. I, I figured they were. But just gonna... it could be a thing to just have there just in case. I figured they something would just we didn't think of. Stand guard. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Yeah, yeah. We could take meat back with us, I guess. Mm-hmm. Meat, come. Meat, stop looking at that guy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so the staircase, right? the next floor and you're starting to realize he's got a lot of books I mean he's makes a sense wizard. he's a wizard he learns learn by everything. reading if Wynne wasn't a traveling wizard she would have tons of books I, I feel like we, we could look over at Wynne and just like see her eyes sparkle a little bit 
Can I? Can I have his tower? Can we confiscate this? I mean, yeah. If y'all are taking him, we get the tower, right? Does it come with the butler? <laughs> the one that we blew their brains out? <laughs> I don't think well, he'd want to work for you. Uh, why I not? I mean, so maybe he doesn't know that, I did anything to him. Maybe that memory got erased. We can I mean, we did just gave him a lobotomy, so... He's just like a brand new person. He's just taking a nap. Joe's actually going to stand by the staircase. Joe's going to stand by the staircase? Yeah. I'm going to look staircase. around. Just looking to see if anything's out of place. Alright, you may uh, make make an investigation check, Arrhenius. Everything looks fine here. <laughs> I'm looking around too. Okay, Meryl, go ahead and make an investigation check. Alright, Mara, what exactly are you doing? He's looking to see if there's anything, you know, off about anything. Looking at the books, looking at the floor, looking at the ceiling. So from your lower vantage point which I guess Arrhenius has a lower vantage point too but um he's distracted as usual from your low vantage point um you can see there's kind of uh there's what looks like a um the outline of a trapdoor right here under the desk. It's very, very faint and easy to miss. Okay. Trapdoor on the second floor. Yep. Found the trapdoor. Go rushes over and looks at it. And sees looks for a handle. There's no handle on the on the top. There's, you can see um, a very very thin seam going around. They roll some kind of rogue thing to know how this thing works. Um, like, it's like a trapdoor without a handle. So how would you lift it, right? Was there something I could roll? Magic uh, word. I mean insight. Or press on it and it pops open. That's basically what I was gonna say. If you, if you roll high. Oh. Well, if, I mean, like a general int check, I guess. Yeah. Would... I mean, I, I mean, you're a rogue. I imagine you would know that without a check. Okay. Okay. All right. Pop. I hit it. Pop it open. You pop it open, and there's a stash of gems. There are rubies, emeralds, and blue sapphires. Ooh. I I huh. gesture to the other two, to, like to, to like the quiet, like like put my finger up to my lips and say shh, and then. Snatch all those things before Linzana sees it. <laughs> um, oh, that means does, I don't know about it. Does you all know about it? <laughs> anybody remember? I know Jack, you won't, because uh, you oh, were here I when I said it. Your character would, but Adam, you wouldn't. Does anybody oh, okay, remember? Okay. Does anybody remember what I said about blue sapphires? They're a fan for one. Yes, and they alter space and time. Oh, I don't remember that. Yes. And they power airships. Uh, 
<laughs> abandon the altar space you, in time. How did you know that? I've never said that. <laughs> you must um, have at some point. <laughs> you play a video game? You haven't. But <laughs> <Yes>. everything <laughs> else about them reminds that you're you're not gonna like this, but it reminds me of um, oh, he's giving away your source. <laughs> Critical Role. Oh, I don't. I don't mind. Okay. Did okay. I steal something from Critical That's Role by accident? Oh, yeah, kind of. So they have these oh. magic crystal dust stuff that ends up, it powers their airships. Oh. Uh, yeah. I've Meryl never watched Critical be, Role. Meryl would definitely be interested in grabbing some of those blue sapphires. <laughs> well, so if Jill when... does know that, they would take everything except for the legal things. Yeah, when's so going no to There's no way to say... prove that the gems aren't hers, but the legal things are kind of... So you don't take the blue sapphires? You just take the... Jill would take anything except for the sapphires. I don't know what the other two will do. Okay. But, but it sounded like you were... It... Meryl will be grabbing those blue sapphires. <laughs> Wynn is going to slap Meryl's hand. <laughs> but... But... There... But... Um, but... Those are banned. But... <laughs> but Artemis would love to get his hands on one. Mm, probably not. Does oh, I know he definitely yet? would. Because <laughs> now they're talking about it after I told them to be quiet. <laughs> I definitely know he would. Well, if Meryl hadn't reached her grubby little paws in. <laughs> Lazana creeps around. <laughs> the, well, the say Meryl... Figure. I mean, still... Th You've already pocketed the gem, so only thing yeah. there is the blue sapphires. Is the blue sapphires, which is what we could report, you know. But What's uh, just one? What are no, you, what are you no. talking about over here? Right here. Huh? <laughs> Wynn's gonna look at Lanzana and say the soul cage isn't the only banned thing that Luxalum deals in what what did you find i'll just point are they in meryl's hand or did you slap them out did you no i slapped her hands away before she grabbed them okay she says oh uh blue sapphires uh that's not good um we'll have to take and destroy those meryl's eyes Start tearing up. <laughs> Do I? Bill smiles as they've gotten their loot. <laughs> Do I? Do I detect anything in her voice that might make me think that she's lying about destroying them? Now mm -hmm. I'll just say no. Okay. Because the way you said it made me question it a little bit. I didn't mean to. Like. Like, oh, we'll have to destroy those. <laughs> I eat, take them. I didn't mean for that, for it to be like that. <laughs> uh, but no, she seems sincere about it. All right, when will... How many are there? Of the blue sapphires? There's, um, yeah. there's three, and they look to be about that big. All right, when will pick them up and hand them to Lanzana? Thank you. Wynn isn't, Win isn't thrilled about Jill stealing the other stuff, but she also doesn't care for Luxalum a whole lot. So, sorry. Mm -hmm. What'd you say about right. Linzana? Uh, she uh, she says, I'll be very careful with these. And she puts them in her pockets. I wonder if he has any more secret stashes around here. Now that's going to make Wynn wonder and she's going to be checking the floor more carefully. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Jill will return to the staircase ready to move on. Yeah, up the staircase. Once everyone else is done with whatever else. Arrhenius, you're doing your one-minute ritual to get half your spell slots back. Yeah, well, they were having that conversation. 
Sure. After I didn't find anything. Okay. Nice. So I have a spell Level three right now. Fight. Sorry. Meryl's all pouty now. <laughs> so based on the size of this screen, there are how many floors? <laughs> uh, you didn't do your meta knowledge check. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't do my meta knowledge check. Let me do that quick. But how do I do that? <laughs> you have to make one. I have to make and... a skill? Okay. Custom skill. Yeah. I have custom skill. So are we going up the tower? I just up a, up another floor? based off of intelligence and then made myself proficient with it. <laughs> so there's six, nine floors? <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I don't think you get to add the <laughs> normal thing or your extra thing to it, but a crit is a crit. Yeah, yeah. Extra thing. Uh, you know, uh, anything that you have a uh, proficiency with is, can't roll below 10 or whatever. Oh, I can't roll below 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um, if I am proficient with it, technically I get that. So <laughs> That's how that works, is if I'm proficient with it, I get the minimum of 10. If I'm not, I don't. I will be searching. Ten on the die. Roll a crit on your search, search, search. Search. Well, in that case, <laughs> there are nine floors. <laughs> Eight. Ooh. Jack now knows that this is just a game, and that she's just <laughs> numbers on a piece of a paper, and she has to deal with that existential knowledge. <laughs> I would think that kind of thing would like, like, mess with their minds so much that they'd suddenly have, like severe amnesia just from the sheer trauma of finding a <laughs> character in a game and thus revert back to where they were. <laughs> you would end up having both Jack and Jill deciding that they want to try to exist at the same time. So. <laughs> Does it make any sense because they are the same person? How can they be the same person and different at the same time? You'd have, right. like, half your face would look like Jack and the other half Jill. Your right. face. So there are more desks in, in here. Look like there's a, a head that... A head head desk, a main desk, um, and there are papers strewn all over the desks, and there are two sets of double doors. Uh, these ones are locked. Catapult! <laughs> Catapult. Uh, I want to just, uh, I want to inspect the lock. Uh, it looks We're like a end door. <laughs> you want to inspect the lock and what? And door. And door. Um, yeah. They. Uh, uh, and door. And door. <laughs> and door. Uh, they. Excuse me. Um, make an investigation check. You're just picking on me because I've had low rolls today, but okay. <laughs> they appear to be a normal door and a normal lock. Oh, oh and does anything? it appear locked to me? It appears locked, yes. Okay. Well, I have proficiency in these tools, so I should be able to pick the lock. When you were saying something before, I, did, I didn't catch it. Oh, I want to uh, uh, check the, the, the desk, open the drawers and check inside the desk. Okay. Um, the drawers have um there's about 10 gold in one of the drawers um and the other has uh some writing utensils um and what looks like uh, a very um elegant quill um mm, what Make an Arcana check for me. Yeah, you can sense that this quill is a med that has magic to it. I will take the quill and the gold out of the desk. Judging me for taking the gems, huh? <laughs> <laughs> In my hand. You you can Stop see Linzana give you a look. 
And she just shrugs her shoulders. I'm gonna hold the quill up. And say... This quill, uh... Has some magic. On it. I'll have to identify that a bit later. Did you pick up the gold? Sorry. I did pick up the gold, and I'm gonna okay. hand it to Linzana. Oh, okay, okay. Darn. I missed the cash of gold. You can keep it. I missed it, too. I shrug and put it in my cloak Perhaps. pocket. Or whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna say, do you want the quill? It's a very nice quill. After what he did, whatever you find in here, you can keep. I like this plant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl, Wait, whatever trying... we find in here. Carrying a tree. Does the, Does the here count? count? Does the here count? As in, can we head the tower? The whole thing, like the tower's ours? Let's Just find Luxalim first. <laughs> oh, Meryl's gonna that would be the answer. <laughs> Meryl's gonna take out her um thieves tools and try to uh, pick lock pick the lock. Wynn's gonna look around and be like, I would love this library he has. I could just <laughs> Wynn just stops adventuring and just lives in the tower. Meryl, you take two force damage. We do need a base of operations. Oh. Hmm. Okay, that, that, that's definitely, um, that, that, that definitely has, um, magic on it. Oh, this one over here is fine. <laughs> I checked it myself. It's just She's locked. gonna try again. She's gonna try again. Let me move out of the way. You'll recognize that you moved out of the way <laughs> before considering picking the lock you just said was on. Yeah, oh, I was just getting out of the way so somebody could pick the lock. was unlocking the other one, so. Use Tinker's tool again. You'll use his insight. Why are you doing right? this oh. again? <laughs> then in that case, I didn't move. I'm still Meryl, there. you take four force damage. You can't even... Ow! You... <laughs> you can't even get the pick in there. I'm not even seeing the rolls. Well, okay, she's backing up. Rolling. She's backing it's, up. It's bad rolling. I'm I'm rolling the damage before she even gets the pick in there. Oh, okay. She's the backing up, is... grabbing the angel's head from the statue, <laughs> loading it into the catapult. Still has the angel's head. Yes, I still have the angel's head. Wind's going to come over and say, "Hold on, hold on." But she's just holding the angel's head up, like, "Let me." Do this. <laughs> you just whipped a stone angel's head out of the bag of holding. Yeah, she just pulls it out of the bag of holding, the angel's head. Random statue head? Or an angel angel's yeah. head? No, it's, it's a, a statue, statue head. Okay, okay. It was an there was a... <laughs> I had to like on that eight, one. Right. Eight, we had to fight. Back, so. <laughs> for like eight or nine sessions back. Oh, it was way more than that. Way more than that. Yeah, it was way more than that. Well, what were you saying when you told it all about? I'm going to come over and... Look at the lock. Do I think that acid could do damage to the lock and maybe eat away at it? Oh, that's right. I still have acid. And you still have acid. Because I gave it to you. Uh, it or could... I bought acid before one of the previous battles. That too. It could eat away at the lock itself, yes. Okay. I'm going to pour a bottle of acid, a vial of acid, on the lock. Do I need to roll the vial of acid damage? 
Um, no. Um, oh, too late. <laughs> the acid melts away the uh, the 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 locking mech the the external exterior of the lock and it leaches into the locking mechanism. Um, and you can see in between the two the, the crack in between the two doors uh, it's it's now open you the the the, hmm. the, the lock is not in, is no longer engaged I will take something I don't know it do I have a I don't know I'll I'll try to push the door open. You try to push the door open? Yeah. The yes. door the door opens and you can see uh, near the lock a tiny little teeny tiny little pulse wave as the door opens. It, it's harmless and the door swings open. Alright. I'll hold the door open for Meryl. She kind of pouts and puts the angel head back <laughs> and walks through. <laughs> Right. You you walk safely through. And searching. <laughs> I motion for other people to come through the door too. And I want to search this half of the room. Um, Pretty poorly. We'll also search the room. Has your last name always been Ripper, or am I just now noticing that, or I just didn't notice before? I think it was pointed out at one point by you, even, but. but was um, it? Yeah. Well, wow. my memory is. Oh, it was. It was. It was Arrhenius. Yeah, it was me that pointed it out. Yeah. Oh. Jack the Chameleon Ripper. Not so, to be confused with Jack the Ripper. <laughs> right, they're different. On this side of the room, um, there are some rare books. Um, on. Are you, are you looking at the books? Like, are you reading the titles? Or are you just like? Who were you asking? All of you in general. Well, just well, like last time, asking, I would be looking at. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention because I thought you were asking someone I'm, else. I'm scanning. I'm not like. I'm looking at the floor and the ceiling and everything. Okay. Hidden passageways is what I'd be searching for. Okay. So the yeah, walls like, and the ceiling. Yeah, and the like floor. that. Yeah. If a yeah. if a title stick desk. at me, then yeah, maybe, but I'm yeah. not. Yeah, same thing as before. Wynn will be scanning the books, but not like... <clears throat> like if anything kind of jumps out at her, or... Maybe this book looks too new and clean in this section, or... You know, is out of place. But then also checking all around. What she said. Okay. Um, so scanning through the books, uh, you do notice the occasional... Um, title on rare creatures um, and like the ecology of rare creatures and uh, some on uh, alchemy um, yoink did you say yoink yes <laughs> um, when you also find some spell scrolls ooh You find a scroll of Give me one second. I might take a couple of these books too. Some light reading. <laughs> She said we could take things. 
Yeah, except for Blue Sapphires, apparently. Books aren't banned. <laughs> We're not in Florida. Well, there, well, might be, there might be some banned well, books in there. Um, there might be some banned books. You find a um, scroll of haste. A scroll of disintegrate. And a scroll of creation. Wait, I'm going to say I found some scrolls here. I'm going to stick those in my bag and a couple of the books. And Arrhenius and Jack, it's time for you to fight over something because right over uh, here, or sorry, Arrhenius and Jill, uh, right over here, there's a dagger sitting on, on the counter that has a, a, a slight glow to it. Slight glow, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Who, oh, do we, can we do a roll to see who sees it first? Like a roll off? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Each roll a d20. So, does that seem fair? I think that seems fair. Just, just a d20. We're not rolling. Knowing just how both like adding things. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. It's so like like my faster initiative roll. wouldn't apply here, even though that. Right. Okay. Whatever. All right. It's like paper, rock, scissors. Yeah. All right. So you notice it first. Would you swipe it or? I I I I pick it up. Jill says, "Ooh, what's that?" I don't know. <laughs> it's a glowy, it's a glowy dagger I found. Uh, magic person, come over here and tell us what this is. I don't have. I'm a magic person, but not that kind. Right. Okay. Um, can I roll a Arcana check to see? I don't. I think they meant Wynn, not Meryl. <laughs> Probably meant Wait, is Meryl the is Meryl the artificer though? Yeah, I'm an artificer. Oh, yeah. Like tools and stuff. So it would make more sense to go call her Meryl first. I don't and think then she, I don't also think she win, knows but... identify though. Oh. I don't know identify, yeah. I don't, I don't Just... know that. Uh, Can anybody identify have this? To identify, but yeah. Yes. Otherwise an arcana takes... check. I have the spell identify, but it takes ten minutes to cast. Okay. Well, I guess I'll stand here in front of you for ten minutes. <laughs> no, <how's it> going? <laughs> Not like you're on a time <laughs> crunch or anything. Yeah, Arrhenius, why don't you hold you it? Figure and out we'll, what it is we'll later. Figure out what it is later. So you hold we'll it. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. Okay, I can do that, and I hold it. Or you, yeah, have it. Are you gonna stab something with it without knowing what it is? <laughs> and I'm gonna continue investigating the area, looking for any trap doors or anything. I mean, not at the moment. There's nobody here for me to stab. Um, I was just gonna... I'm just saying that I'm holding it in case it is way, and I'm now cursed by it. Uh, Meryl. Uh, you said you're looking at the floor and the ceiling, looking for trap more doors. Trap doors. Um, yeah. You don't find any on this floor. Okay, next floor. <laughs> I'm good with next floor. Uh, yeah. Okay. As you make your way towards the stairs, Linzana says, "I'm growing concerned." That we keep going up and we haven't found him yet. I mean, it is... Like I said, he's probably on the top floor. Maybe in his sleeping chambers. I mean, that's where I would teleport to. Yeah. Granted, my sleeping chambers are a little bit different. We're not going to find him here, are we? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, he can't be too he far because gone he far. used the door. Yeah, the mention door. 500, 500 feet. feet. Yeah. 
unless he went into one of like the mausoleums, which is doubtful. I mean, it's still possible. We probably should have searched there too. I mean, if we're going with like, but it was a, it would have been a contingency. I mean, but entire... I don't know if you know that. So, a football so... field is what three hundred fifty something. Well, so given 500 feet, he can't have gone up very high in the tower because of the range. <laughs> that too. So, yeah. He can't be on like the 10th floor because that's... The 9th floor, you mean, right? Because there's 9th. <laughs> yeah, 9th or whatever floor. Cause... Of course, there could be a logo spot, so there could be 8. Because <laughs> but... if the ceilings are like, let's say, 10 foot ceilings, or if each each floor, let's say, is 10 feet, that's like 5 floors. And he was in the he was in the cemetery, so he surely can't be higher than the fifth floor, given the range of the spell, unless he had a special uh, spell. I don't see that. That's a special version of the ten feet. I mean, to do five... Pythagorean's theorem, it's pretty possible he could get yeah, to the top floor. Yeah, still could. Very possible. No, he could not. Why? <laughs> because. <laughs> If each floor is 10 feet high and there's five floors... Yeah, that's 50 feet. Yeah, That's, that's 50, 50 feet, not 500 feet. Right, but it's 50 feet. So, yeah. depending on how far away he is from the cemetery, like, he's... The cemetery is probably a good 100 feet away. Which still would mean 500 feet is way more than enough. Yeah, but 500 feet would be way more than enough. I don't know what your math is right now, but... I mean, like, it's probably a good math is like, 250 feet away or How something. far away is the graveyard from the tower? Which is still under 500 feet. 500 feet is a long distance. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, don't acting like it's not. I don't think like, he's. Like he could be a long ways away right now. Like we, we wouldn't be able to catch up. I mean, he could have teleported to a random inn somewhere and then walked out of there. After an hour, he just better, pops yeah. in. He's unconscious. It's a. It's yeah. about about 300 feet to the right of the tower. Which, yeah, so 500 is yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so with the right. spell, though, he would have had to have had a set place in mind Correct. for it to take him to before the spell went off. So Anyway, can we just go up the top right now? <laughs> <laughs> it would be somewhere familiar to him. It... I'm sure he's visited the places around the town. <laughs> And they don't like him. Doesn't mean he's not familiar with it. Alright. I'm gonna check the store. Does it have a lock on it or is it locked or open or No, that one's just kind of a swinging door. Checking this floor out, checked in the desk. Same thing as it before that I was doing. Now this, yeah, well, there's same. nothing really of interest on this floor. It seems it seems like it's just more of his library. All right, so we spend what maybe right. five ten minutes looking at it and then head yeah. up. Cool. Thank you for the fast forward. Yeah, thanks for the fast forward. Manzana. <laughs> oh yeah. She had to tie her shoe. <laughs> <laughs> For ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. She's a wizard. Know. She had to stop and catch her breath. So now we're at the... Oh, so the entire top row is not used. Got it. Okay, sleeping quarters. But we have two doors here. Oh, there's another so set of the, the beds look like they're being used in the picture, but... Um... When you is that door unlocked? The one that Arania just went through. Give me one second. <laughs> Marilyn, I gotta move you for a second. Okay. Oh, okay. I had to check something. Moving the audience view map. The door. Uh, no, that is just a swinging door. 
Um, the uh, the beds look used in the, the image, but they all look perfectly made up like they haven't been slept in in a while. Gotcha. And, um, there, there are no papers on the table. The chairs are pushed in. This floor looks like it has not been used in a long time. Next floor. Um, I will have who who has a made an investigation check on this floor. I yeah. haven't make an investigation check. I have right. sixteen, and Marilyn Arrhenius have seven. Gotcha. Yep. Have the... No, I did poorly. Um, what is? Just trying to see what that was. Um, is Lanzana just not looking? Lanzana doesn't care. Yeah, she, she just doesn't care. She's like, I just want. I'm just here to find him. <laughs> well, he might Are be you gonna find one him? of the beds. <laughs> Right. Uh, Lanzana and Wynn working together um, this you, is a secret stairwell you find um, looking under the beds you notice um, he's got uh, there's a sigil carved into the floor a small sigil carved into the floor under each of the beds um oof make an arcana check if you want yep um it appears to be some kind of uh curse oh why would he curse the beds that's weird <laughs> bill gets the full information she Figures it out, I think. <laughs> I would like to maybe do a quick sketch of one of the sigils to look up later. Okay. And where Meryl is standing, it looks like there's a secret stair stairwell there. Uh, yeah, that's why I moved her over before. It's... Um... Or not even secret, just stairs. No, it's not secret. They're just stairs. Yeah. But um, there is... You... you as you try... Hmm. Hmm. Forgive the noise. That's Brittany going outside. Um, okay. I'm just trying to get straight in my head what I was going to say. As you approach those stairs, you feel not a barrier, but almost like you know how um when it's really warm out and you have the air conditioner on and you go from one room to another you kind of feel like just a wall of heat mm -hmm. it kind of feels like that except it's not so much heat as it is like electricity like static electricity Wind does have an affinity for lightning. I mean, stack kind of. <laughs> Would you say our current situation is electrifying? Ah. But um. Ha ha. But um. Ha ha. But um. Do you <clears throat> continue on? Yeah. Well. Maybe we should explore this side stairs over here. Well, that's the... That's the continuing... Next, that's the moving on, yeah. Oh, there are no more stairs. Sorry, my bad. I thought there was another. No. 
uh, stairwell over here as well. All right, I missed it too. Floor seven of eight or nine. <laughs> six? Six of eight or nine, sorry. There's seven if you include the basement. I guess so, yeah. Pretend you don't see all the, the craziness yet. Wait, was me supposed to come with you this whole time and then I forgot him? Yeah, yeah, I think you left him. I think you it's left fine. Him, yeah. He's just been, he just been chilling. He forgot <laughs> he what he was with supposed the to do, and he started. He went back to the guards. There yeah, he's go. chilling with the guards. That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, he started to come up behind us and like couldn't find us and was like, "Nope, I'm good." <laughs> Study the see if there's any lock on the door or if it swings open or what. Do we hear anything? You? That's a good question. Um, so, from the other, from your side of the door, you do hear what sounds like um, the sound of uh, so electricity is not a thing, but uh, the sound of um, lightning, lightning or crackling, like, crackling. Um, yeah, crackling energy, lightning. Uh, and you don't find anything of note on the library side of that room. And those doors are locked. And it's not it's not tiny this time. On each door there is a gigantic arcane sigil on the door. When <laughs> More There's no way to see through into that room. He just said no. Okay. I didn't, yeah, I didn't catch it. Did. Alright, Jill. If this doesn't work, we're gonna need you to seduce the door. <laughs> can do. She says, but then says, no, seriously, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, understandable, it's inanimate. I just thought it was funny. Are you insinuating something about my character? N no, just you're good at talking to things. And, yeah, I am. And it's a thing that you could technically talk to. It the the sigil represents um, a spell okay. similar to the spell Arcane Lock, but more powerful. I will try to cast Dispel Magic. At what level? I can only cast it at third level right now. Because okay. I use my fourth level spells. <laughs> Make the ability check. Um, I'm giving her advantage on that. Okay. I guess I just roll a ability check using my spellcasting ability. That's using your well, what about uh, am I calling it now? Helpful spirits. It'd be intelligence. Yeah, helpful spirits. Okay. So that would be a <clears throat> be a plus four. So first roll. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think you need to roll that advantage. Um, My spirits helped out that much. <laughs> the, uh, the arcane sigil disappears from the door. Oh, good. Hey, we don't have to figure out how to talk to a door. I will push the door open carefully and peek in. And uh, what you see inside are four 
crystal pillars. One blue, one pink, one purple, one green with yellow lightning arcing between them. And in the middle of it all, protected, is a treasure chest. Which is not on the map, okay. but it's there. Is there a roll to see if it's a mimic? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, that's how I would set up a mimic. <laughs> question is, do you know what a Mimic is? I don't have the meta knowledge roll. Roll, <laughs> roll a nature... Uh, yeah, roll a nature check. Roll a nature check for me. When will walk into the room and motion for... <laughs> you don't know what a Mimic is. I don't know what a Mimic is. <laughs> Careful what you walk over onto here. Uh, how far up do the these pillars go? Uh, or the whatever's there? Well, the ceiling's about um, about uh, seven feet up, and they go up about six feet. They're tall. Oh, okay. I climb on the wall and go over that, and then drop down onto the chest. You go in the one foot space, you go over that? Yeah. I as, crawl. As you go through that space, the lightning arcs to you. Make a dexterity uh, saving throw. Oh. Uh. Oh, you made the save. Faster than lightning. <laughs> so you take half of that. You take uh, five um, lightning damage, and you are not thrust back. Um, Do you can do you continue to move forward? Um, I'm gonna go with no. Okay. Because I feel like if I get in there, they're just gonna all keep attacking me over and over again. So I I, I go back down. Can I do an Arcana check on the pillar? What are you trying to ascertain? To see if there's any way she can act deactivate it. Go ahead. So there are arcane sigils all over, um, not all over, um, going around the base of the pillar. Um, Remind me again what languages you speak. Abyssal, common, deep speech, druidic, human, infernal, sylvan, and undercommon. Okay. So not draconic. Nope, not draconic. Okay. How many um, languages do we get? I always... Uh, you do not recognize the language these sigils are in. Can she take a dagger and just scratch at the sigil sigils to try to mess them up? Sure. She does that. Uh, roll. And make a dexterity saving throw for touching the crystal. You made the save, but you take five lightning damage. I thought uh, I had something that let me get a spell. Hey, just because I did it didn't mean you had to do it. <laughs> I use these tools to discern a possible way for me to disarm this trap. Um, make. So I think there's like a thing for that right make now. an intelligence check with proficiency so okay 
even if you don't have any intelligence skills and proficiency, go ahead and make an intelligence check with proficiency. Let's see, how do I do a thieves tool check using beyond? I don't think I've ever done that. I uh, it, it doesn't give you the option to make a, a tool check on D and D Beyond. You just have oh. to either use the appropriate skill or just roll a D twenty and add. In this case, I was proficient with thieves tools, so plus. Yeah. So that's three. Oh, did I take expertise in it? Crap! Hold on. I think I might might have. Uh, don't think the new rogue gives you the option for expertise in thieves tools. Doesn't. What do you have? Do you have a uh, proficiency in? You do not. I should. I have four. I have four expertise already. Never mind. I thought I, <laughs> oh, I only counted three, but there's four. Um. So yeah, thieves tools. So, so D twenty plus three plus three. So plus six. Oh, it's an intelligence check. Yeah, intelligence is three. Plus proficiency, you said, right? So six total. I'm looking at your sheet. It says plus zero. I'm looking at the save. Oops. My bad. My bad. There we go. I think that is enough. Plus eight. Or no, eight plus... No, I'm thinking of the DC. Never... Ignore what I just said. D20 plus three. No, you're right. So seven. Yep. Um... You're not sure that your thieves' tools could help you out with this. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. It was a good effort. <laughs> could my tinker's tools help out with that? Do these look like they are anchored to the ground or... Uh, yeah, they're, um, you can't tell how far, but they are anchored into the ground. All right. Well, Wynn is just going to look at everybody trying to poke around at things, and she is just going to, I don't know, is, is, is this like a, like a, like a fence of lightning or just a couple of seems to be acting like an electric fence yeah it's like, it's like an electric fence yeah all right but inside it looks clear yeah all right Where well we? i'm just gonna jump through oh <laughs> uh make a dexterity saving throw Well, that's almost. It looks like it's on the twenty on my screen, but no. So as you try to jump through, you take. Oh, that was shit. Uh, you take four lightning damage, and you're knocked back five feet. So you're knocked back onto the desk from where you jumped. All right. Well, we're gonna try that again. I will get through there. Never did I expect Wind's character to be the one like kind of just bull rushing through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I uh, have two spell slots left. <laughs> All right. So make another dexterity save. Mother. Eight lightning damage. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try jumping through it too. This... Okay, well, so, so, so Meryl, jumps. Meryl, the reason that Wynn is doing this is because I have a spell that can drastically reduce lightning damage if I need to reduce it. <laughs> well, I'm saying if, I, if, if it's centered on you already, maybe it doesn't have enough power to hit me as I'm going through while you're going through it. Yeah, I don't think it works that way. 
Uh, we're about to see. I think Mer <laughs> Meryl might also have a spell that can reduce. Yeah, I do. I think. Yeah, she's got elemental shield. Yeah, I've got elemental shield. Wait, hold on a sec. Do you withstand an Eldritch Blast? Because if uh, so, I could push it out. Oh yeah, if you have the force, the the thing that pushes things. Wait. Yeah, I could I I could push it out. Can you Fire target Eldritch Blast? I can target objects. Or I could catapult the um damn rod. <laughs> Only problem is I do a decent amount of damage. With Elemental my shield blast. will reduce the damage by three d six. Yeah. And I've got that spell too, so yeah. But Arrhenius might be onto something here. <laughs> yeah. It's just, do we think that the chest can withstand the damage and not just blow the, you know, contents up, contents up everywhere? Well, how much damage does? I mean, like if anything, you just well, break it, right? One d ten plus six. I mean, because I have. I mean, Repelling Blast says Creature. Because I have Thunder Wave. Sadly. I have Thunder Wave, which, which can push unsecured objects within the cube ten feet away. Right, that would work too. Yeah. Also Catapult it, right? Yeah, Catapult it. It depends <laughs> on how much the chest weighs. Probably catapult the chest. Catapult, catapult, catapult it out. Catapult the chest yeah. out. That's I what I'm saying. Chest out. But, but you have to be inside there to catapult the chest out. No, you don't. No, it's ranged. It's, it's ranged. ranged, but oh, is yeah. it? It, ranged depends, 60 feet. it depends Wait, on how much the can... chest weighs. What's the weight? Yeah, what, what's the weight limit for the spell? Oh, uh, yeah. Because um, I think it's only like five, five pounds. Five pounds. Yeah, it's going to yeah, weigh one more than five, five pounds. More than five Oops. pounds. Oops. That was a good idea. All right. I'm going to ask people. I'm gonna ask. I'm, I'm gonna get as close as I can up here, and I'm gonna ask everybody to get um uh away from me to stand outside the room. Okay. Hey. Outside the room, it is. Linzana walks up to you and says, uh, "Please be careful. We still have a wizard to find." Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll find I don't him. Kn I don't know where I went. I don't know where you went either. <laughs> where did you go, Ravius? Apparently I, I found a trap door. I was here. Disintegrated by the electricity, apparently. You were just standing there the whole time. I don't see you anywhere on the map. <laughs> Are you I under me? Give him a new no. token, I guess. Okay, that was just me just, just getting the spell cast. And... I'll, I'll drop you back on. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know That's where weird. it went. Okay. Wait, so... does he have invisibility too? <laughs> <laughs> In addition, unsecured objects that are entirely within the cube are pushed 10 feet away from you. So the objects don't take damage. They're just pushed 10 feet away no, from you. No, they're pushed away. Yeah. yeah. 5, 10. And it bumps up against that table. Well, good. All um, right. When, when we'll walk around? Um, walk around, rather. Wait, walk it, around? It, it... <laughs> well, it's pretty close to the barrier still. And that is this tight squeeze there. Wind skinny. That's not I'm what I'm saying. 
Like, you, you guys would get close to the fence and it would shock you, so, like, yeah. I'm tiny, so I could probably fit through there pretty easily. And you probably wouldn't be able to move a chest. I'll, I'll let you squeeze through it. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, okay. Mara, what are you doing in here? You're supposed to be outside. Well, we heard the spell Wait, go else? off, obviously. Yeah, we heard the spell go off. So we all go in to check the yeah, secret. Yeah, because it's an okay. audible yep. boom Ooh. within 300 feet. <laughs> yeah. Wynn's going to walk around and grab the chest and drag it to the hallway. Assuming she can. Yeah. What's my drag? <laughs> drag. <laughs> That's my drag <laughs> drag check. <laughs> that sounded weird. <laughs> Where's my drag check? <laughs> you can drag 300 pounds? Really? You can drag 300 pounds. Alright. Is that is there a flat value now, or is it based on strength? Like you it's based before? on strength. I don't... Okay. I don't know it's what... It's like times five or something, so... I have to double check or the 15. new carrying capacity rules. But, you can uh, push, drag, or lift a weight and pound to twice your carrying capacity. Yeah, so 50. Or 30 times your strength score. 30 times, yeah. Which is and I, I can't find that on my character sheet. Where is that? Inventory. And click on weight carried. Ah, thank you. Yep. Good lord. I know, I, I know yeah, I've hidden. seen it before, but I couldn't find it. Yes, I can push, drag, or lift 300 pounds. So, drag, 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 drag. Alright, drag the chest out. Do you open the chest? Uh, if we can. And there's no lock on it. It was... It was oh, yeah. It, yeah, it was... Do you think we should check it first? I mean, I know it was behind a bunch of lightning... Well, Dima was just telling us it wasn't locked or anything. So. If Luxalim is curled up in this chest, I'm gonna. <laughs> There's a possibility. <laughs> I was thinking more like a phylactery and he's a lich, but. <laughs> Secret lich. That's a possibility. But that's meta knowledge. So. Would I throw a <laughs> lich at you at this level? Yes. Why not? You wouldn't have him kill us, but you at least have him up here, right? <laughs> so are we? Are we I checking basically that? told we all of us yeah, to we're new characters. <laughs> are we checking the chest? Are we opening it? What are we doing? Yes. I assume Wynn opens it since they're yes. Wynn will open it. Enthusiastic about this one. Wynn will open. Okay, is he gonna open it? All right, you open the chest. And that's where we're going to end for the night. Oh, is it the Ark of the yeah. Covenant? <laughs> it's a mimic. It's, it's a mimic. It, it's, it's a mimic. mimic. <laughs> it's a mimic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would have been an Arcana check. Actually, then, know, then I would have gotten it, hit by the electricity and it wouldn't have been an object, right? It would have actually passed through and taken damage if it was a mimic. That's a safe Actually. assumption. That's... Yeah. I think that's a fair assertion there. Once it did take damage and we're not aware. <laughs> All right. Or the mimic is inside the op inside the <gasps> chest. Oh my god! It's gosh, a different object. Oh, man. Boy, it's a what different object inside the chest. <laughs> no, it's insulated. Yeah, it, it was, was insulated apparently. Yeah, it was protected <laughs> from the lightning. <laughs> uh, that's great. All right. It, it couldn't get through the wood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for playing. You can find Shelly at Shellyitis on Twitch. You can find Adam at Silent Wolf One Four Five. Right. Yep. At on Twitch, and if you're watching this on YouTube, and you want to catch us live, uh, at World of Akala on Twitch. It's World of Akala. Just pretty much anywhere you want to find us. Not that we're at a lot of places. Yeah. But still. Everywhere. <laughs> um, we're everywhere. <laughs> right, we're dot com for merch. I don't know. <laughs> no. no. Everybody say their goodbyes and we'll get out of here. Have a good one.
make sure to hug your loved ones. See you all around. Their goodbyes, and we'll get out of here. And I'm just gonna raid this channel. Did you do the thing where you didn't set up the raid first? I don't know, when am I supposed to set up the raid? Eh, when you start doing the... the goodbyes, uh, yeah. The goodbyes. Usually when I do it, it's when I start saying goodbye. Okay, I'm gonna raid now. As okay. Brittany's making a whole bunch of noise. Alright. Raid! Everybody have a good night. <laughs>